viral ninja welcome and enjoy the video For starters, I want to build a country that works, where our citizens get up to go to work and a government that works for all of its citizens. Our vision can be summed up in one word. I want a job in every home. We want to make sure small businesses become entrepreneurs to do what is best. We will rebuild our economy by maximizing the sectors that are key to job creation. Sectors like manufacturing, agriculture and tourism. Fellow South Africans, our manifesto will pass the Jobs Act, which will allow for tax incentives for people to come and open businesses that will create jobs. We will ensure that we introduce a year's program where our young people can work for one year. We will pay them so that they can learn the skills in government and the dignity to have a job. Amanda! Away! We have shown more than everywhere that we can deliver land reform within the constitution and our people know that they can settle compensation through our legal system rather than allowing politicians to decide who will own land and who can own land. We will never again enslave our people to be people who work for the state. I would rather have our people be owners of their land. This is indeed true freedom. We don't just oppose the constitution for the sake of it, the amending of the constitution for the sake of, for the sake of it. We want to ensure that section 25 is protected in the constitution so that our citizens can become owners, not tenants of the state. I want to speed up the delivery of basic services for all South Africans so that our people can enjoy the basic rights of the Constitution. I want our country to have an empowerment model that truly empowers more citizens. Isn't the politically connected? Let's give shares to the people who work in communities rather than politicians who are connected. Let those who work in the mine own shares in that mind. I want to build a better country where the most vulnerable don't have to suffer from poverty. I know what it's like to raise kids and 400 grand is not enough. We are going to increase the child grant so that it's a living grant so that our people buy it so for But to make sure that our country have got secure borders so that anybody who wants to come in legally is welcome to come in but those to come in illegally, we can be able to ensure that our borders are secure. I want to build an energy secure and a sustainable country thanks to our renewable energies to make sure that we are climate, we are, we are ready for climate change and we can build a sustainable country. I want to say to all the politicians, if you are corrupt, you are going to spend at least 15 years in jail. I'm going to introduce an anti-corruption unit staffed by both specialist prosecutors and investigators. FIFA! Long live Julius Saloma Lama Long live! Long live the economic freedom fighters! Long live! DJ, just for the last time, this is the Tela Tupa rally of the economic freedom fighters! Tela
I find it so funny and a little bit interesting when you drive past all these election posters, pretty much all the main political parties, they're all claiming that they're going to create one thing and that's jobs. I'm no politician, I'm actually an entrepreneur and I'm definitely not a pessimist, I'm a super big optimist. But you got to ask yourself the question, where the hell are all these jobs just going to come from? Will it be from corporates? Will it be from government? I don't think so. The government, they're already overemployed. ESCOM has got something like 66% too many employees. And our public service employ 1.2 million people already, taking 35% of our budget. It's impossible that they can create more jobs by employing people. Will it be coming from corporates? I definitely don't think so. Every results presentation at the JSE, corporate companies are bragging about how they're using technology now to create efficiencies in their companies and replacing or redeploying employees. Standard Bank, they just announced that they're going to cut 91 branches, retrenching something like 1,200 people. Group 5 just filed for business rescue, affecting I don't know how many, but it must be thousands of employees. It's not going to come from corporates. Let me tell you where it's going to come from. It's going to come from the people who are actually getting the least support, the guys who are fighting against all odds to keep their doors open. It's the small business owners of this country. They are the people who employ our country and who is actually making the biggest difference. So while all these political parties are asking you for their support, what I want to ask all South Africans, support whoever you want to on the 8th of May, but every single day thereafter, please support small businesses, because they are the only guys who can really make a change in this country, who can really grow the economy, and who can create real jobs.